our videos are finally monetized so we're finally monetized and i'm so grateful to god to you all my subscribers to everyone who supported me and i'm just really grateful to god i'm really grateful to everyone and this happened in less than 48 hours see guys i don't know youtube loved me so much i applied on 10th evening and early morning 12th april i got an email congratulations you have been monetized so i'm going to tell you guys exactly what i did how i got my channel to be monetized in less than 48 hours without any troubles no wahala no comeback letter no one month later i just applied and it came through first of all i don't want to go over the story of how i started my youtube channel but i started and i've been on youtube for one year plus september will make me two years on youtube september 2020 will make it two years i've been on youtube and since then i haven't been monetized so when i got when it got to september 2021 my watch hour started going down started reducing so every month i lose watch hour every month i will lose watch hour for that month every month i will lose watch hour for that month see it was very traumatic it was very troubling seeing that you're close to being monetized sometimes i was even at 3500 watch hour but with time it will start going down going down going down going down going down but finally we came to 4,000 watch hour, actually 5,000 watch hour because YouTube demanded more from me. <laughs> so I got to 5,000 watch hour on the 10th of April, 2022. I was so excited, but <laughs> I didn't want to apply that day because I was feeling reluctant. I didn't have national ID card. I didn't have anything. And I didn't know that they were not going to ask me for those things on the day I was going to apply. So after watching some videos, I went back to apply. When I applied, um, the AdSense started doing in progress. I will come back and check. I applied by two. I will come back and check. AdSense is doing in progress. When will the AdSense finish now? So that the main video, the main um, review will start. So that I will start counting days. I will come back later. AdSense in progress. Come back later. AdSense in progress. <sighs> I was so scared. Like I was, I was thinking maybe I put in the wrong address because I've not watched any video where anybody said Ascens took them a long time to um progress. I be process. It took me a long. I was. I will come back three hours later. Ascens was still in progress. What did I do wrong? I don't know. So later that evening, say when I checked back by five and um, five p.m., it was now showing your channel is on review. But I was so scared because I've had a lot of stories of people who were on Ascent for six months. I've had a lot of stories of people who were rejected. And with this YouTube new rules every day, reuse content, copyright strike, everything up and down, plenty, plenty um, news that you don't understand. I was just so scared. So I just believed God because all my mind was after all these years. After all these months of trying to get into this um, partnership program, if these people reject me, I will just leave this channel and go and rest. Maybe after resting, I can come back later and know what to do with it. Like, I just don't have the strength. I've gone through a lot trying to get here. Even though it wasn't any, I don't, I didn't feel it as that. I was even more happier when I wasn't monetized than now that I think I am monetized. I don't feel, I don't, I no longer feel it. I now feel like I'm doing everything just to get paid. I'm no longer doing it because I love it. I, that's how I feel about it. No, it, I just don't have, and that's why I haven't filmed much videos since that April till now. There's no joy, there's no strive, there's no move to just film the video. And me thinking that when I get monetized, I'll be so happy and so motivated to shoot videos, to make videos and all that good stuff. But it is not the same now. So when the review started, I started waiting and praying every morning, every day, every minute I would check, have they approved? No. Every minute I would check, have it, 
Has it been approved? No. <sighs> One day passed. That is 5 p.m. 11th of April passed. Nothing. So, on the 12th of April, I just woke up early in the morning, 1 a.m., and I went straight to check my YouTube channel, and I said, congratulations, you've been accepted. Wow. 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 I was so happy immediately. See, I like money that much. I started putting adverts on all my videos, all my past, present, and future videos. I have been monetized since April 12th, 2022. So now, hold up. Hold on, hold on. You can now call me a YouTuber. <laughs> so you can now call me a YouTuber. Yeah, because now I get paid for making videos. So now I'm going to tell you exactly how I've been pampering my channel for it to get to this threshold and YouTube just monetize me without any question. First of all, I try as much as possible to avoid copyright claims on my videos so a few times i've had copyright claims on my videos like the first video i uploaded on my channel has a copyright claim that i did not take out i did not remove then the third video or the first video i i uploaded on my channel also had a copyright claim so what i usually do is when i post a video that has a music in it because mostly all the copyright claims I've gotten are from music that I put in my videos, like on the background, in the background of my videos. So when I get such videos or when I get such videos that have copyright claim, after I finish uploading it, sometimes I just go in, go to my creator studio with my phone. I do everything, almost everything with my phone, even though I now have a laptop, I still do most of the things with my phone so i go to the creator studio with my phone this is really easy to do especially if you don't have a laptop so i just click on chrome google chrome and then click on youtube studio on my google chrome so if you need like a full tutorial of this just give me a comment in the comment section and i will make a full tutorial so i change it to desktop because it's easier to work with your phone as a laptop when you change it to desktop then i just go to content and then check out the videos that have the copyrights on it and when i see that video i just click on it i click on this pen um the pen that shows edit video so when i click on that pen it just takes me directly to what i should do for the video so immediately i clicked on the pen the whole detail of the copyright or the video will show and then i go to select action so if you look you're going to see where the real copyright and when i click on that it will give you the summary and status of your video then you see where they ask you to take actions so here you select actions you can either decide to remove the music delete the parts where the music is or delete the part that has the copyright claim you can decide to delete the entire video or well, instead of deleting the entire video okay this is action trim out segment that has copyright replace the song command more mute the song i usually prefer to mute the song i don't like replacing the song because i may not know the song that they will put for me so i just mute the song and that is it so they are going to show me different parts where i have songs that have copyright claim so if i want to like tick on those parts and then delete it i'll just do that or if i don't want to do that i'll just want all the songs that's basically what I just do. So when you click on this, you continue and YouTube will give you feedback later. So that's how I just do it whenever I see a copyright on any of my video. So I don't get much. When I do that, it stays like that for maybe one day plus. And then YouTube will now tell me if the action was um, taken or not.
so that is like one thing i've usually done for my channel i make sure i don't upload any content that has copyright claim unless it's a short video you know most shots youtube short if it's longer than 15 seconds your music is going to have copyright claim in it and most when i monetized all my video i think i have just like two videos that i couldn't monetize one of it was and um, two of it or three videos that i couldn't monetize two of it were short videos and one of it was the first video i uploaded on my channel on my channel and almost all my videos were mon they were eligible to be monetized unless the ones i did not want to monetize or the ones i unlisted or the ones i put on private so all my videos had we are clean none had a copyright claim second thing i did not use do was to do use a much of reused content so if the content is original to me when i upload it on tiktok i don't use the same video like the same music or the same tiktok video with tiktok logo and music to re-upload it on my channel what i usually do is when i edit that video for tiktok i send it to tiktok when i'm done upload it on tiktok i just bring a new i just take the new version of that video again not the one that tiktok downloaded on my phone i just take the new version of that video and upload it again on youtube put youtube uh, music on it and other things and voila it goes i don't um take people's content to upload to avoid copyright um, strike, I don't upload violent content and I make sure that I watch my words in my videos. Because when I started YouTube, I made sure I watch enough videos that warned against such. So I was patient enough not to do sub for sub so that YouTube will not have any complaints in the future against my channel. So I, I just believe that what whichever month it took me to get to 1000 subscribers, I was ready to wait instead of going the shortest way about it. And I knew that building a solid foundation is better than just trying to be there. So that was like the first, the, the things I was doing to make sure that my channel is The thing that I did not try to do or I advise you should not do is putting a title of what is not in your video on your video that is click based video when you are still aspiring to be to join the youtube partnership program don't make videos that do not have don't lie about what is in your video because when youtube comes and they get to know that most of your videos are um click they might not monetize your channel another thing that i was very conscious of is my thumbnail some people don't take um conscious um notice of their thumbnail when you check the youtube um uh when you check the youtube terms and condition your thumbnail shouldn't be more than it shouldn't be more than 2 mb but some people don't know they just edit their thumbnail they don't check how many mb it is they upload most of these things a strike community guidelines strike if you have more of it on your channel so having thumbnail that are bigger than 2 mb might cause you trouble in the future and it might keep your channel on review for a longer period of time and again if you have videos that do not have your faces in them your channel might stay on review for a longer period of time so i just think youtube checks my channel they saw that okay this girl has just been doing her best even though her best has not been enough to get her to 10,000 subscribers and 4,000 whatever in time and they just monetized me monetized <laughs> so guys if i get to remember any other thing i was doing for my channel i will come on here to explain if you have any question or you have something you want to ask please leave it down in the comment section below thank you so much for watching thank you so much for coming back to my channel it's a baby girl meekness kinsley always on this channel bye see you guys in my next one